Hello, welcome to sql02pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'll explain you the use of brackets in WHERE clause conditions. Okay, so you can mix and match logical operators in your WHERE clause. The last two tutorials, we only saw the use of one logical operator in one WHERE clause. Okay, and like we used one and and two and and three and and four and, but we are only either using ands or ors. Okay, in this tutorial, I'll give you some examples where I'll show you how you can mix and match AND and ORs and how you can use brackets to suit your business uh, needs of the query. For example, uh, like if you're mixing and matching AND and ORs, you should always use the bracket in order to simplify uh, the presentation of the query as well as uh, to prevent any con confusions, okay? Because uh, Oracle will resolve the brackets first and then it will go to the outer brackets, okay? For example, in this case, this bracket will be resolved first, and once once the answer uh, or the uh, like true or false, whatever uh, this whole operation will bring, once the answer has been resolved, then the outer uh, condition or outer operation will be performed. Okay, first internal operation will be performed, whatever is inside the brackets, and then the external operation will be performed. Okay, let me show you some examples so that you know what I mean. So let me just log in. Okay, having go to SQL, SQL commands. Here, let's see what data we have in our table. We created contact table. Okay, so for example, if I want to see all the records for all those people where name is Hassan Mir, uh, control enter will do the same thing as clicking on run. So here I see all those records for all those people whose name is Hassan Mir, that is fine. Uh, and either name is Hassan Mir or uh, and ID is equal to 3 sorry let me go or ID is equal to 3 okay so I see all those three records now let me complicate things further so I want to uh, I want to see the records for all Hassan Mir's and all those people where ID is 3 and who live in Ontario this will be the right representation of the of the query uh, that I just uh, read it to you okay so what I want to find out is uh, records of all those people whose name is Hassan Mir uh, and also I want to see the records for all those people who live in Ontario and whose ID is 3 so this would uh, so this fulfills my requirement okay now I want to write another query and this time I want to see um, records of Hassan Mir or those people whose ID is 3 but all of them has to live in Ontario so logically speaking it's bo both of them are two different queries but in this case both of them are bringing the same result how about we introduce third query here we want to see okay this hmm. okay let's change this around I want to show you a case where changing the bracket will make the difference okay so this query is bringing two results and this query is bringing three results so what is the first query first query is we want to see basically all records for Hassan Mir and also Hassan Mir should either live in Ontario or the ID should be three okay so that the result two records and here we want to see basically a different query altogether okay we want to see all those people where name is Hassan Mir and ID is 3 or all the records where the province is just Ontario so I, we want to see all those people who live in Ontario and we want to see only Hassan Mir whose ID is 3 respective of where they live okay so this will bring three records the first one will bring two records now uh, just moving the brackets around will make a difference okay so 
let's create a table that will give you, give us more meaningful examples uh, to study for so let's create table employee okay so this table will have all the employee information so ID is ID column of number type and let's say name of employee up to 30 characters salary of employee this uh, number is fine for that and in which department employee works okay so department ID up to let's say two characters or let's say we're only storing department IDs Later on, I'll talk about the foreign keys uh, so that you can learn how to, uh, you know, put only the keys in one. So the whole department information will be sitting in department table. Here, we're only going to put the department number, okay? It's called uh, normalized data form. Anyway, I'll explain you that in detail, but for now, just focus on this table. So